What's going on? I recently saw a video by Ryan Stiles Harris where he took his M17 Samwa and he made it wirelessly charged. At the end of the video he said that it works for any radio that has the adapter for say micro USB or whatever it is in order to charge. I've got an MT44 Samwa. I really like this radio but it doesn't have any USB charging capability in it. So after that video I thought I think I can make this wirelessly charged. We're gonna see how that works out. Okay, in order for this to work, we're gonna need a few things. First, we're gonna need the wireless charging receiver. The coils themselves, specifically ones that have a micro USB connection. Next, I found these on Amazon. These are a micro USB input LiPo battery charging circuit. If you have a one cell LiPo battery. Next you'll need these three wire connectors. I don't know the names of them, uh, but you will need a female end. In order for it to plug in the radio or the receiver, I do have a male plug with some of the inserts. You will also need a wireless charging pad. Everything I have here, I'll link in the description. None of this cost very much. I bought this circuit charger. Came in a pack of five. I think they were like seven bucks. And maybe ten dollars for the wireless charger and yeah, six or seven bucks for the fast charging, the coils. Uh, All together, I think it was like twenty-five dollars. Anyway, we're gonna wire this up. We're gonna see what happens. Whether or not it actually charges my battery or destroys my radio. I don't think this is sanctioned by Sanwa or any other company, but let's see what happens.
So here's a circuit diagram showing how I wired the circuit up in order for it to work. So I ran into a problem after I installed the circuit. The radio wouldn't turn on. And after trying to find out why for what seemed like an hour, I finally busted out the ohm meter and discovered that the three plug connector, the male connector that I had spliced the inserts for, the metal inserts and the pins, uh, they weren't getting a good connection. So I wasn't actually getting a solid connection going to the radio. Once I discovered this, I wired the circuit up the way that this diagram shows, plugged everything back in, and it works. It works great. Uh, as you can see at the end of the video, I, I show it charging. When you have it on, the radio turned on and on the charger, you'll see it's up at 4 volts. When you take it off, it went down to whatever the battery was sitting at, 3.8. And put it back on, jumps up to 4. Uh, I did leave it charging you know, one night. Uh, let it sit there, charge for a few hours. It got up to 4.1 volts. There is a cutoff voltage of 4.2 on that circuit itself. I didn't think I've reached the cutoff voltage for it, but it appears to be working great. I tested the radio again today. There is a slight current draw for the circuit board, but it's real minuscule. My radio is still sitting at 4.1 volts. This is awesome. I no longer have to take my LiPo battery out put it in my charger, set up the whole program for it, <clears throat> and trickle charge it, which takes forever. So I'm happy with how this turned out. We'll see in the long run if it holds up. But for now, it's looking pretty promising. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.